Investors are on edge ahead of a critical referendum on Sunday in Greece. This as the nation defaulted on its $1.7 billion payment to the International Monetary Fund on Tuesday. Citizens will vote on whether to accept or deny austerity measures as its European creditors demand reform. For more analysis, I'm joined by Michael Ingram, a market analyst at BGC Partners, with us now from London. Uh, Michael, let's begin with the referendum because negotiations between Greece and its creditors have stopped until then. Now, the polls are actually pretty split, but come Monday, give us the market's reaction to both sides of this story, whether the Greek voters vote yes, we want a bailout, or whether they vote no, that they're not open to austerity measures. Yeah, well, first off, I think the market is probably underestimating the chances of a no vote. Um, if you talk to most market analysts, they're saying maybe a 30% probability. As you suggested, the most recent polls um, perhaps indicating it's closer to 50-50 uh, right now. Um, it, 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 again, the messages of the consequences of a no vote, um, you know, somewhat muddled. Um, we had um, statements out from the French finance, finance minister, uh, Michel Sapin, this morning, and also uh, Jérôme Gisseboum, the head of the Eurogroup of finance ministers basically saying that if there was a no vote, we basically don't want to talk to Syriza anyway. There's nothing to talk about. It's almost as if they want to see some uh, some sort yeah. of regime change in Greece. So um, it's it's looking pretty awkward. Um, the way forward isn't ex exactly looking uh, looking great. Uh, and ultimately, I think that it, it, it almost doesn't matter in a way because um, the vote on Sunday is essentially going to between uh, that of uh, recession via a, 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 a Grexit or a depression by signing up to further austerity. Well, I mean, let's talk about that because Greece Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras said that this is not a vote on whether or not Greece is going to stay in the Eurozone, although a lot of people don't agree with him. But if they do vote no, won't that lead to a Grexit? And what does that mean for the markets? Yeah, I mean, it, clearly a no vote is going to significantly increase the chances for Grexit. And again, people looking at this sort of, you know, option tree say, well, look, we have a no vote, then the chances of Grexit go up to 80% plus. If it's a yes vote, then that's probably a 20% plus. So, um, so yeah, I, I, but of course, it's not, it's not the question on the ballot box. Uh, and of course, the Eurozone, uh, you know, have to play a very, very uh, careful game here because in one sense, they don't want to be seen to be pushing Greece out of the Eurozone. Nobody wants to be seen to be doing that. Um, and, uh, and the more that the Eurozone brands this vote as a decision on the Euro, the more they actually say, well, we are actually acknowledging for the first time that, that, that the Eurozone membership is actually reversible, which was complete taboo subject until very, very recently. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's all down right. to brandering. The rhetoric is very, very nasty. Um, and and, it's, Michael, and it's, not, uh, it's not making markets feel very happy. Michael, let me ask you about Germany. They actually have about 56 billion euros at risk here in terms of their exposure to Greece's situation. So isn't Germany the biggest loser following a no vote or even a Greg said I mean should I limit my exposure to stocks in Germany because of that yeah, I mean, financially, they, they clearly have the biggest exposure. Um, uh, most of this, of, of course, is at the sovereign level um, throughout uh, the Eurozone. Uh, and of course, I think, uh, you know, more broadly, you know, Germany's authority in terms of its, its, its leading role in the policy making and the stabilization package within the Troika um, is also going to, uh, to, 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 to um, you know, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. No policy makers are going to come out of this um, looking good, no matter what the vote um, is right. on on Sunday. All right, and just real quick, because we're running out of time, but if there is some sort of a bailout, I mean, what does that say to other countries like Spain, Italy, and even Puerto Rico? I mean, there's risk of moral hazard that basically I can just go out, do whatever I want, because I know I'm going to get bailed out. Yeah, well, I think it, it, it's almost a lose-lose situation to some extent because if there is a further bailout, then it, it'd be difficult to argue it's anything other than politicised uh, lending. Uh, the IMF is incredibly restive about the, um, the the actual debt sustainability within uh, within Greece. Uh, it has been for several years, although of course it's it hasn't been terribly forthright in saying that publicly. But just look at what their own uh, chief economist Olivia Blanchard is saying. They're saying they said they said they need to have a haircut. That's off the table. So um, yeah, I think it's it's. It's looking pretty grim for Germany, whichever way you look at it. Okay. Michael Ingram, thanks very much for joining us from BGC Partners. I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.